You have an app in the App Store and now you want to know how do I scale it quickly. The easiest way, set up strategic partnerships, strategic alliances with symbiotic or parallel uh, interests to your app. Now the easiest way that I can help you with this is to make sure that your app scales quickly is let's say in the fitness space. All right, say you have a fitness app and you want to get more users. Sure, you could spend ads on paid ads, Facebook, Instagram, Google, you name it, to you know, drive traffic to your app. You could spend money on influencers to drive traffic to your app. One of the ways that you can really scale your app quickly is find something that's symbiotic to an app. Maybe it's a supplement brand, okay? I don't know, this is just an example. You'll have to think about this yourself, but let's say you have a supplement brand and you have a great app, you know, it, it's, it's well made, it's beautiful, it's easy to use, it has positive feedback from your early launch. These are all fantastic resources you can use. So let's say you approach a, a supplement brand, ABC Supplements, and you say, hey, ABC Supplements, I have this app, I think we should collaborate. If you guys are open to it, here's what it does, here's why it would benefit your clients. Maybe we could do a collaboration where if they buy uh, supplements from you, we give them a free month or we give them uh, something that you can offer them from your app. Okay, that, this is just an easy example. You can this could work across any type of industry, but this is the easiest to explain. Let them, you know, tell you what they think. But now you can create a strategic partnership. Now that they're just shipping out all their supplements, they have an offer in there, maybe in the can or maybe something attached. Who knows? I mean, I don't run a supplement company, so I don't know the logistics. But all I'm saying is, now you have something that's not in the tech space. It's not related to apps. It's driving people back to your app, but it's related. See that that makes a lot of sense. Let's say you have a children's app. Maybe it's a game or something. Maybe it's a dinosaur game. Well, maybe there's uh, maybe a, a dinosaur toy brand or, or something, right? You know, use your strategic alliances, reach out to them, see if you can you know, create a, a collaboration to get more downloads for your app. So these are just very simple ideas that create symbiotic relationships that's not tech related to drive traffic to your app because it'll make both brands win. It shows that you care about them and that their, app, their product cares about helping their users with their existing customer base to give them more resources, resources with your app. So that's a very easy way to do it. Uh, you can scale very quickly following this method because you're leveraging other people's customer base that are relevant to your app idea. So the next question that may be is, well, that's great. I would love to do these type of things. I have no idea or don't even know the first step <clears throat> to take in order to find these people to even approach them about my idea. This is also very easy. What you wanna do is you wanna to go to LinkedIn. If you don't have LinkedIn, create a LinkedIn account, brand it out, make it all about your app, uh, build out your profile so it looks beautiful and you have all your resources. Use LinkedIn, just, just make sure you always mention your app, uh, high quality photos of your app, uh, just everything you can. Uh, you know, you'll see it once you create your account. Also create a business page for LinkedIn so you have a lot of information about your app. So now that you have this, now what you can do is you can leverage LinkedIn's in-mail. LinkedIn's in-mail allows you to buy LinkedIn credits. We have to have a, a membership of LinkedIn, uh, so make sure you subscribe to their service and then they give you in-mail credits. I believe it's like 15 or 20. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go to the search on LinkedIn and you wanna find people that, let's say the supplement brand, ABC Supplements. You wanna type ABC Supplements Marketing Director or ABC Supplements, uh, you know, or you can even filter by like um, C-level positions. So these can be like your executives. Filter it by that and then put in the company name and then I'll list them all for you. Now all you have to do is you just tap on them, send them a message and in-mail credits guarantees that it will be delivered and that they will see it. And you'll know because it'll show that it was seen. It's a very easy way to do that. Um, a way you also want to do is if you're gonna be using these in-mail credits, don't include any links because you can't put links in there because uh, LinkedIn will think it's spam. So the best thing you can do is just write up a, a brochure similar to what we've done for uh, individuals watching our videos here or watch the five key principles. Uh, because we put together a brochure that explains everything, answers all the questions. It's just, it's, it's helpful. You know, it shows you put the time and energy because you're serious about your platform, your product, like we are. Um, so maybe you want to put together a brochure, explains everything, uh, and then maybe put a QR code in there that they can scan and then download the app. Uh, these are all great things you can do. And then reach out to them and then, you know, be upfront. Say, hey, you know, I know uh, Mr. and Mrs. Executive, I know you're busy. Let me show you why ABC apps can be best for your brand or help you explode your customer base. We can work together. Etc. You want to make sure you get that up front because like I said, the nine seconds, they're going to read it. Oh, this is spam or oh, what is this? So make your intention the very first thing you say. Send that out to them. Uh, attach your brochure like a PDF or, or a, um, even a Word document. Just something that they can read and just instead of like, hey, how are you? But they see that there's something attached that's relevant and you put time in. 
you're going to get a response back. If they may not be interested, but then you know they may refer you to someone, and that's how you could also include in that message. Just say, hey, uh, John, Sarah, uh, listen, I'm reaching out to you, and then at the end say, you know, uh, thank you for taking the time. Uh, all, referrals are always welcome. And business professionals love when people ask for help, um, <clears throat> especially like at our company. I mean, it, it kills me when someone reaches out to us, asks for help. And you know we we just love helping people with their app idea. You know we like we want to give them advice. We want to point them in the right direction. We want to make sure we help them with you know investing in their app idea, setting them up on a private mastermind, like anything we can do to help them. Okay, so business professionals love people reaching out that are being uh, resourceful, and of course they're going to refer you to someone. And say, well, you know I may not be able to help you, but contact uh, Joe or Jackie at this company, they're, they're friends of mine, because typically when you're in an industry, you're gonna network with people that are you know, similar, so you have a good chance of kind of building out that network. So this is just a quick hack you can do to, to um, explode your, 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 your user base, explode your down, expose, <laughs> explode uh, your, your app, is find symbiotic products that are not tech related, uh, put together an offer to them that you guys can work together. Make sure you type up some type of brochure information. Uh, and then if you can't reach out to them directly through their websites or primary point of contact, maybe like contact us at website or call them. It's gonna be a lot of gatekeepers, I can tell you that. Okay, so be prepared. Then use the LinkedIn hack that explained this video. If you have any questions, just watch the video again and that'll give you a good shot to get in front of the right people. And if they're not able to help you, ask for the referral. I'm sure that they will be able to point in the right direction. So do this and you watch what happens to your mobile app in the next 60, 90 days.